So, uh, Bad Girl, excuse me, Batwoman, uh, has now gotten her own TV show because everyone wanted a, uh, a Batwoman TV show. She's the best superhero in all of comics, so of course she got her own TV show. It's not because we have to pander to, uh, a very marginal existing audience who were probably never going to watch this TV show and only wanted to see a woman in tights. So the creator of this uh, this awesome TV show is uh, Carolyn Dries, who's actually worked on uh, Smallville, Vampire Diaries, which all have a pretty decent reputation of being decent TV shows. But this, this looks terrible. I mean, the trailer alone makes me not want to watch the TV show. I know it's not fair to just judge off the trailer, but when you have lines such as, I'm not about to let a man take credit for a woman's work. You have a pretty good idea of what kind of TV show this is going to be. Now, I have no... Uh, no problem with this uh, woman being a gay woman. Personally, I think that's pretty hot. But why she gotta look like such an angry little boy? It seems Hollywood only knows how to make two types of lesbians, the really hot lesbians. And then you got butch haircut, angry little boy looking lesbians. Like, give me a hot lesbian, please. This is Batwoman. This character looks more like Robin than Batwoman. <coughs> Let's get into this uh, trailer and uh, praise it because it's uh, revolutionary because we finally have a woman in a superhero costume. I already hate it. Fuck this SJW woman bullshit. Batman gave up on us. The bat's not coming back. Of course he did. He's a, he's a male and males are uh, weak and stupid in woman universe. Hello, said Alice. Shall we believe the crows will protect us? <laughs> Agent Moore, do you copy? Do you copy? Alright, th this is just totally suspended my disbelief of reality. I can believe a giant bad girl flying around and fighting crime, but a woman losing in a woman superhero movie against one henchman? That can't be real, that's fake. Sophie's missing. I thought you should know. Hey, Dad. We're gonna find her. Then let me help. That has got to be the most preposterous thing I've ever heard in my life. Next, I want to have the right to vote. Where'd you get this? What happened to staying out of it? Yeah, kiss her. Something you'd like to report to your squad? So when Donnie Darko swings his knife, Batwoman retaliates by doing the whip i don't want to judge the whole show off a millisecond of a clip but i have to assume the choreography is going to be complete shit yeah thank god this uh this tv show is so revolutionary and trying to get rid of the stereotype of damsels in distress and replacing it with women being in the action while having the main female protagonist use a frying pan as a weapon yeah you want to get rid of a certain stereotype but you're bringing it back with a uh, stupid cliched shit like this wayne security you owe my boss a new door your boss is my cousin you 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 don't want to go near that you were, you were seriously not supposed to know what's down there. So I have this thing with rolls? Ah uh, yes, the uh, classic, weak, cuckold stereotype. I'm glad this movie is uh, spreading diversity in that category. It's usually been played by a white man for far too long. Now, if I'm going to be fair about critiquing good movies, I have to say that the only flaw in Batman and Robin is that every character has bat nipples. Except for Batgirl. This TV show has a potential to improve upon that mistake and possibly surpass one of the greatest movies of all time. I need you to fix his suit. The suit is literal perfection. It will be. When it fits a woman. <laughs> You're a female Bruce Wayne. Awesome. Hilarious. Handsome. This scene right here pretty much says everything I hate about current female movies and TV shows. Movies such as Ghostbusters 2016 and Ocean's 8 copy something a man has already made. And according to these people, just adding female to it automatically makes it better. Yeah, that's not how it works. Do something different. I don't doubt the woman mind can come up with something creative and new. But these people who just remake movies and TV shows and just add woman to it... Display women as people who lack creative motivations and can't be unique. 
the line female Batman wants us to think that, wow, it's like Batman, but better because she's a woman. This is just a, a genius concept. Alright, that was pretty hot, not gonna lie. You know what, I think I am gonna watch this TV show, but what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna skip all the stupid, boring feminist scenes and go straight to the lesbian porn stuff. These people are so desperate, they're copying from Captain Marvel. And somehow these people are less subtle about their little message about feminism. I can't believe this TV show just made me compliment Captain Marvel. Now I feel dirty. Maybe it's because you dress like a giant bat. I know women aren't very smart, but uh, she should have known that. I'm not about to let a man take credit for a woman's work. That's funny because you're using Bruce Wayne's technology, his building, his cave, his bat suit, and his little black Alfred. Wow. Not since Batman and Robin in that porno I watched yesterday have I seen such a cheap-looking costume. 